Hi there, my name's Alan. I've got a website, I'll put the details below. I'm also fortunate enough to be a member of a design team for www.thatscrafty.co.uk. They have a blog site, which I always get wrong, so forgive me, I'm going to have to read this now. It's thatsbloggingcrafty.blogspot.co.uk. Now, what I'll do is I'll put the Site, website for the uh, online shop, I'll put the blog address and also my website below so please go and visit all of them. Uh, you'll not be disappointed, there's a lot of very very creative people, uh, members of the design team for That's Crafty and you won't be disappointed, they are absolutely stunning pieces of art so please go and visit. Right, this video is going to be all about introducing to coloured pencils, coloured water pencils. I think these have been given a short straw. They're not used as much as they should be because they are a wonderful, wonderful part of our crafting equipment. So that's this is the intro. I'm going to stop the video now and I'll make a start and then what I'll do is that uh, I'll show you and talk through exactly what I'm going to do. Okay so roll on part two. Hi, welcome back. Now then, the stamp set I'm going to be using is from Indigo Blue. Whoops, it's this one. It's a really good, it's been out for some time, but it is a wonderful stamp, especially for doing, using these pencils. They, you know, because with the poppy and everything, you can really layer the colour and get a really nice effect on it. Because we are working with water, we have to use a waterproof ink. So for this, I've used Archival. It's uh, jet black, and again, it's a nice clean ink. This so it's well worth adding this to your uh, crafting arsenal, so to speak. Stamping block, a set of water pens. Um, the beauty of this, these pencils is that you can grab some colours and you can take and put them in a bag and take them with you. So they're very transportable, and then these they, you don't need any water and brushes because this is exactly what they do. So what I've done is I've stamped up a little seam. This is the one here that I'm going to use. This is on good good quality cardstock. I've also done a separate one which I aim to cut out and then layer. So I'm going to cut this out and layer this in at the front. I've also cut the fret, not the cuts, I've also stamped the phrase. So I've got all the elements here for making my card. Now pencils. When it comes to watercolour pencils I have to admit I'm a hoarder. These are my pencils. You don't need this much it's just that I just see them when I see them I grab them because they're so versatile and this, you, you can use them. All the, can you imagine if you had to have, sorry if I'm rattling the pencils and over I'm talking. Can you imagine having to have the same amount of ink pads as you have with pencils? So if I was to have all this, these colours, now each manufacturer makes a different colour. So it's all different. There's, you know, there's different hues. So you might think they're the same, but they're not. So I've got a nice selection here that, well, you know, basically it'll, it'll last me for a lifetime. So, let's get colouring on with this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm trying, going to try and get close up to it so that you can see what I'm doing. And that way it's not going to be... If I press the focus, auto... There we go. There we go. Right. I hope you can see that. Shall we see if we can get in a little bit closer, shall we? Um, this is the first time I've done this, so please bear with me. Right, so if I keep that there, we should be okay. Now then, let's pick the colours. Um, a red, a couple of reds, an orange, um, a deep red, and 
there we go. So, and a little, just a little touch of purple. So, I picked, I've got my, cray, my crayons, I've got my pencils here. Now then, let's just have a play. I am not an artist. I cannot draw to save my life. But, stamping and colouring, it's all done for you. So, let's just go a little bit round here. And then let's go round here. Like that. Then let's get another colour and just go. As you can see, they may look the same, but they're different shades. And then there, and let's have a little bit of. And let's go for a deeper colour, shall we? Here. I'm not worried about the. Uh, the little bits in the middle yet yeah. because what I'm going to do is I'll do them up with uh, when it's dry so as you can see I am not you know this is not a great colouring job is it you know if someone wants to say to me well there, right I've just got the purple which I'm just gonna lay around a little bit of the creases just in the top So, and let's just go in the middle there, and then that is quite dark in the centre. So let's. I don't want a black because the black will spoil it. So um, I'm spoiled for choice here. So there we go. Let's go with this. So and then just do that a bit in the middle. Now. What about the leaves? Okay, let's get a couple of greens out. So I've got my greens, and then let's just do a bit of colour. Just put down a bit of colour here. And I'm not forgetting this one. Here's the green. As you can see, if I bring this up to you, I hope you can see that. That is not, you know, you wouldn't say that was even finished, would you? This is where the magic starts. Let's pick up a. Oh, we'll go with a thin. These come in th three. If I show you closely, you can see this. Is the that's the first one. That's the second one. I hope you can these come through. And then you've got a medium sized one, which is that. Everything I'm using is available on the website. Yeah, so please go and have a look and have a move. So you'll be there for quite a while because Laura does stock some beautiful stuff. So right, just gonna feed the water through to the end. And take it off on my hand. Now then, let's let's just start, shall we? Sorry if I go quiet. So. I'll do so. There we go. Now, if you wanted to be perfect, you'd get a photograph of a poppy in front of you and just lay down some colour, you know, like I showed you. And then you can build up the colours so you know exactly what everything is. Now before I go on to the green, obviously I'm just going to wipe the the brush so that I don't transfer any of the red onto the... Now then. 
Now, this is not perfect. No means is it perfect. But after that little bit of a mess, if I pull the light around a little bit, can you see what we've come to? And that was just just scribbling, not scribbling, that's the wrong word, but just by laying down some colour. That's what we've got. So, my brush is clean. Add a bit more water and then let's now start with... Now what I will do is that when this is finished I will take a photograph and I will photograph the, the final print, so to speak. So, let's go there. And then and of course when it's dry you can always add don't think that once you just put this, you know, this colour on, that you can't add. You can when it's dry. You can then add more. You know, if you want it a bit dark in some places, or you want it an extra colour somewhere, when it's dry, you can do it. Now, this took me how long? In fact, this about, I spent more time doing the. You know, sort of doing stamping out the scene. So that this is, and it's just a quick one. This is the beauty of these pencils. Uh, I think, and not being, I think, if you can afford it, go and get the set of pencils, watercolor pencils that's on the site. They're not expensive. There is a nice selection of colors there, and when I say they are, you can use them, all you need is a nice quality paper. It's like anything. You can do this on photocopying paper. It's not a problem. But you just got to remember that the surface that you're working on, you're adding water to. So you use, as I say, you use a waterproof ink. You get a nice, well, you don't have to use any, you can use any. I've just picked this out because it's a flower. It's very easy to use. And it is, a, you know, it's one that I've used quite a few times. The rose, the, sorry, the, the poppy on its own. You can do it white, red, pink, blue, green, yellow, any colour you want. Because just think about the colours that are out there. So that's all I've got to do now is trim that. Colour this, mount this onto that, and then what I'll do is I'll mount it onto a piece of card, and I'll take a photograph and I'll put a photograph in with the uh, finished video. So I hope this has helped introduce you to the wonderful crafting tool that is coloured pencils. They're wonderful. Okay, right, thanks very much indeed, and I look forward to seeing you. Well, I look forward to doing the next video. I don't know what it's going to be about yet. Um, I'll sit down with Laura and to see where we want to go for the next one. So, thanks very much indeed for watching. I hope you found it interesting and informative. Any questions, please send them to me via my, you know, my website. Just leave a comment. If you want to, I think I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, right, thanks very much indeed.